Dear beginner cloth diaper, the journey to choosing cloth diapers isn't always an easy one. Sometimes you're met with your own mindset and how worthy you are of doing things and how capable you are of doing things. Other times you're met with resistance outside of you from family members and friends who maybe don't have bad intentions, but they don't believe you can do it either. And a lot of that comes from misinformation of not understanding how modern cloth diapers work. Did they do the research? Do they know about modern cloth diapers? Do they know the ease of modern cloth diapers? Do they know that modern cloth diapers are not plastic pants and pens? While you can use plastic pants and pens, that's not the most popular choice when it comes to cloth diapering. And sometimes there's information on YouTube that, or blogs or <laughs> Facebook groups that make it seem like cloth diapers are the best, right? But sometimes it can suck, okay? Sometimes it does suck. Sometimes you get leaks, but you know what? With disposables, sometimes you get leaks. So are they all that different? Yes and no. When it comes to disposables and cloth diapers, they're the same because they're both catching the same pee and the same poop that comes out of your child. It's not grosser in a cloth diaper. It is quite literally the same poop. The only thing that's different, and this is where the mind, mindset shift comes, the only thing that's different is the way that you handle that pee and poop, okay? The device that catches it is what's different. The device, okay? The poop is not grosser in a cloth diaper. You just handle it differently in a cloth diaper. And in this modern day where we have a real world on top of a digital reality, it can make the navigation a little harder and a little easier, and here's why. It can make learning about cloth diapers really easy. If you have an hour of your time, you can spend an hour searching blogs, Pinterest, a YouTube, watching YouTube videos, right? Instagram, Facebook groups, learning about cloth diapers, just from different types of sources, from different people, you know, whatever resonates with you. One thing that I realized is there's a lot of great cloth 101 information out there, but not you're not gonna resonate with everybody. You're not gonna like the way everybody explains things. And so it's important to find a source that creates information and resources that are easy for you to understand. And there's nothing wrong with you not liking the way that I explain things. There's nothing wrong with you not liking the way someone else explains things. We all just have different ways of understanding things and different ways of explaining things and how things work. However, sometimes online can bring a complicated stance and a complicated air of confusion when it comes to understanding cloth diapering stuff because there's so much information out there and it's like, where do you start? And my advice to you is just start with the basic information of learning the systems. I think that'll get you really, really far in your cloth diapering experience. So this diaper that I have right here is a pocket diaper. Some people can even use it as an all-in-two. So it's a pocket diaper because it has this lining that goes against your baby's skin that helps them stay dry, which is one reason why I really love pocket diapers. There's a pocket in the back, and this is where you can stuff your insert. So I have an insert right here. I just fold this, and I take this insert, and I stuff it inside the pocket. Pretty darn neat. Not like the plastic pants <laughs> or the pins that you would think of. This outer material right here is kind of like this breathable waterproof material. So modern cloth diapers have come a, a long way. There are so many different types of systems that you can use, and this is just one of many. So learn about the diapering systems, okay? You cannot go wrong with just learning about the basics of cloth diapering, learning about the diapering systems. That'll get you so far, and that'll empower you to figure out what system sounds most appealing to you, or multiple systems. You don't have to choose just one. You can choose all-in-ones, you can choose pocket diapers, you can choose diaper covers. There's just a lot of things that you can do when it comes to cloth diapering. And so if you're feeling overwhelmed, <laughs> that's okay. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. Sometimes as humans, we feel the need to avoid our feelings, right? But one of the most empowering things you can do is honor your emotions, see that they're there, and move through. Sometimes it's as simple as feeling the emotion and letting it go. But if you really want a cloth diaper, and you just don't know where to start, start with the diapering systems and empower yourself through knowledge. A lot of videos, a lot of things about the best cloth diapers, the worst cloth diapers, and a lot of those are just opinions and we all have our own experiences with cloth. Honoring that, honor that, you, that you're gonna have your own unique experience with cloth diapering and maybe one day you'll get to share your experience with one person or many people or thousands of people and inspire and encourage people to choose cloth. Cloth has just opened up so many <laughs> doorways so many avenues to many things in my own life and it's really beautiful that I'm not just diapering my baby I'm 
I'm doing way more because I chose to cloth diaper. I started making reusable switches in my household. So there's just a lot of things that cloth diapering has led me to that I really didn't expect. And it's been this beautiful evolution within myself, a, a piece of my evolution into other things that are greater and more expansive and better for the earth and better for my mental health and my emotional health and my energetic and spiritual health. It's quite beautiful. Beginner cloth diaper, <laughs> beginner cloth diaper. You got this, okay? You got this. Your mindset. Do you believe in you? <laughs> I believe in you. I believe you can do it. It'll take some work on your side. When it comes to cloth 101 information, there's only so much information I can give you, right? There's only so much I can do for you. You have to apply things to your life, and this is a great life lesson. We can listen to as many inspirational speeches as we want, watch all the content, the info. Maybe you wanna get into sewing, and you buy all the materials, and you did all the research, and you're just like, I know how to do it. But are you going to? Because only you can make the jump. You have all the information you need, but you gotta leap for yourself. You gotta take the plunge in for yourself. And if it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. You're not a failure, right? Sometimes things just don't work out and that's okay. Cloth diapering isn't all or nothing. And I feel like this advice will not age well. <laughs> I feel like in the future, I feel like in the future, the earth's conditions aren't gonna be great. And so the advice to like not use cloth full time is not gonna be great advice. I don't know why I feel that, but I kind of feel like in the future, this advice is not gonna age well. But we're in 2021, baby, and this is the advice I'm giving you because it's relevant and it works. Cloth isn't, <laughs> cloth isn't all or nothing, okay? It's not all or nothing, so keep that in mind. This experience is only as hard as you make it to be in your mindset. Um, there are struggles you can come with, you know, wash routine issues or even rashes. Both I've dealt with and both suck. Don't really give advice on those because there's just so many reasons why your child could have rashes or why your wash routine isn't working. And I don't give advice because I'm not perfect and I don't know everything and I'm okay with that and I honor that. I'm okay with not knowing everything even if I have this platform where I encourage people to cloth diaper and I think holding grace for myself in that way allows me to show up fully, authentically and with vulnerability to just be like, hey, I'm human. I don't know everything. I don't have everything figured out. I'm not perfect. I'm not a guru <laughs> and I'm just here having this experience alongside with you guys. Like this is also my experience too. Views amounts of followers, likes, comments, whatever, doesn't make me qualified to do anything. I'm literally just another mom having this experience with you guys. And so I honor that part of my own journey that I'm literally not an expert. I'm just someone who has experience and I share that experience and I share some of the mindsets and perspectives that I have, which is not the only mindset and not the only perspective to be had in this cloth diapering space and in this cloth diapering experience. If you new to cloth, <laughs> you're doing research, you got this, okay? You got this. It starts with your mindset. Your mindset is so powerful when it comes to choosing something that's different and unknown. Mindset really shapes our reality, the way you think about things. And I'm, I love psychology, sociology, the subconscious mind. I love the subconscious mind and everything that's in there. We hold a lot of gunk in our subconscious mind, but our subconscious mind is like the supercomputer of our brain. And it holds on to all the symbolism, all the memories, everything that you've ever gone through, all the connections, um, the synchronicities, all of these things your subconscious brain holds on to, and it projects into our reality. You know, we operate from over 90% of our subconscious mind through our behaviors, our thoughts, and our actions. That's powerful. I'm making this into a series called Dear Beginner Cloth Diaper. So be looking forward to this series. I just figured I would do it on a whim and just give you some emotional support, kind of pump you up, hype you up, but at the end of the day, you gotta do your shit, you gotta do your work. I can give you all the information, all the support, all the love in the world, but at the end of the day, you gotta make the leap, you gotta do it, you gotta do what you gotta do, okay, you gotta do it, okay, bye, I gotta talk to you later, bye. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a mood, it, it's a mood today.